from the News Talk ZB Newsroom. This is News Fix. In this update, French police reinforcements have arrived in New Caledonia in a massive push to regain control of the capital. France's High Commissioner Louis Lefranc says standoffs continue in parts of the capital, Numia. Riots erupted on Monday over proposed electoral reforms, resulting in hundreds of arrests and five deaths. The international airport's expected to remain closed until Tuesday, leaving more than 200 Kiwis trapped on the island. But Mike Lightfoot, a New Zealander who's there, says the group has been meeting with the consulate every day. Initially, there was very little coming through and we really didn't know what was happening. We certainly feel a lot more comfortable now sort of having an understanding on when we might leave New Caledonia. Israeli forces have rescued the bodies of three hostages from the Gaza Strip. The chief military spokesman Daniel Hagari says the trio were murdered by Hamas while escaping the Nova Music Festival on October 7 and their bodies were taken into Gaza. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu praised the military operation and reiterated a pledge to return all the hostages. It's estimated a further 130 hostages remain in Gaza. It's a cold start to the weekend for those in Otago and Canterbury. Heavy snow watches are in place with snowfall above 600 metres for the southern lakes in central Otago and 500 metres for the Canterbury High Country. Med Service meteorologist Matapalo Makupu Patane says those travelling in these regions will need to be careful. In addition to the heavy snow watches, we have road snowfall warnings, which cover those high-level mountain passes and high-level roads. And caution is being advised over Haast, Porters and Lindis Pass, as well as Milford and Crown Range roads. And that's news. I'm Donna Marie Lever. To sport, relief for Hurricanes captain Brad Shields after his side held off a valiant Moana Pacifica 32-24 to open round 13 of Super Rugby in Wellington. The host surged out to a 19-0 lead before Moana clawed the margin back to two points with three consecutive tries. Shields has paid tribute to the visitors' resolve. I guess you could say they weathered our storm in the first sort of 25 minutes and our discipline sort of put us in the wrong end of the field and they were absolutely unreal for that period before half time. We've just got to be better in terms of we get a bit of a steam on, we can't stop doing the small things well. The Chiefs, meanwhile, have edged the Rebels 26-23 in Melbourne. Men's world number one Scotty Scheffler's moved to within two shots off the lead at Gulf's PGA Championship major in Kentucky. It comes just hours after he was detained by police at a traffic stop. And that's sport. For more news, listen to News Talk ZB live on iHeartRadio.